Welcome to this video on quadratic equations and solving those um, equations when we've got monic trinomials. Okay, so first of all, what is a monic trinomial? Now, our general form of a quadratic equation, ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero. A monic, like a, anything that has a prefix mono, so um, mono meaning one, we've got a is equal to one, so the coefficient of x squared is equal to one. Like this one here, we've got a one x squared, take away four x, take away five, is equal to zero. Now, when we're looking at factorization of um, trinomials, monic trinomials, we had a method where we had our two sets of brackets and we looked at this particular term and the coefficient of x. So the negative 5 is the product. We need two numbers that multiply together to get negative 5. So this is the product. This guy here is the sum. So negative 4 is the sum. Those two numbers that we're trying to figure out, they need to add up to negative 4. I think it's easiest to look at the product to begin with. So how can we multiply two numbers to get a 5? Now when we have prime numbers, like 5, it's quite easy. So we have a 1 and a 5. But sometimes we have to look at the positive or the negative cases. Now, for us to have a product of negative 5, either the 1 is negative or the 5 is negative. But we need to make sure that one particular one is negative so that when we add those two together, we end up getting a sum of negative 4. So that means that the 5 has to be negative. So when we do 1 plus a negative 5, that is equal to negative 4. So 1 and negative 5 are our two numbers. 1 and negative 5. So put them in those two brackets. Now it doesn't matter which one we have um, in the brackets first. So we could have an x minus 5 and then an x plus 1. But in this case I've got an x plus 1 and an x minus 5. Um, if you did expand that out, so x times x, x times negative 5, and then the 1 times x, 1 times negative 5, you will end up getting the original statement. Um, you do, when you expand this out, you get four terms, but two of the terms simplify, and you get the middle term. So linear factors, we have x plus 1 is equal to naught, or x minus 5 is equal to naught. That 1 over to the other side becomes a negative 1, this negative 5 to the other side becomes a positive 5. So we end up getting a negative 1 or a positive 5. And here are our two solutions, negative 1 or positive 5. As a quick um, verification, substitute both of those numbers into the original quadratic equation to make sure that they work. Okay, pause the video, have a go at this particular quadratic equation in terms of y, and see how you went. Okay, so we need two numbers that multiply to get 2, and add to give a positive 3. So just make sure that both of these are positive in your mind. So those two numbers will be positive 1 and positive 2. Put those into the brackets, so we end up getting y plus 2 is equal to naught, or y plus 1 is equal to naught. This over to the other side becomes a negative 2, this becomes a negative 1, so we end up getting y is equal to negative 2 or negative 1. How did you go? Okay. Um, pause the video, solve both of these two quadratics, and see how you went. Okay, question 3, you end up getting p is equal to negative 12 or positive 3. And question 4, you get y is equal to negative 4 or positive 20. 
Okay, thanks for watching this video on quadratic equations, and in particular, monic trinomials. Um, if you have any questions, um, feel free to ask. So thanks for watching.